What is up, Scar and I bringing you Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, the last episode. We got started on this journey, this masterpiece of a journey, and uh, got ourselves a shield and a sword and a fairy. We got ourselves a fairy, her name's Nabby, and uh, even though we'll know for a fact in the future she'll be annoying, Link loves her. Link absolutely loves her. And uh, I'll probably explain more to that in, <laughs> just much, much later. But we are here in front of the great Deku Tree, who apparently is cursed from unknown sources. But we're here supposed to go inside of it trying to just shatter this curse of his. And uh, yeah, hopefully you're liking this series because like I said in the last episode, uh, or actually before I say that, if you want to watch episode 1, because some people sometimes skip over episode 1 because I label it as question marks and I say let's play 8 episode 1, uh, be sure to watch it. I'll put uh, an annotation on the top of the description so you don't miss out on some good action. Um, because it is the episode 1 so far was really, really funny. I actually really liked it. And um, I haven't seen the feedback yet, but I sure hope you guys like the series. But yeah, uh, this series also will be having a vote for uh, what game I should play for the 10th Let's Play. Because every 5th Let's Play, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, you guys are going to vote. And whatever side wins between White Tigers and Dragons will have the right to vote. So we're going to go do that. And uh, let's go get started with this. We're gonna go inside the first dungeon of the game, the Great Deku Tree. Let's begin. Inside the Deku Tree. So we're gonna try to 100% this dungeon of sorts. And uh, the thing about this, if you just walk up, Navi will just cut you off. Oh, never mind. I thought she would. Okay, that's good. That's good. What do you have to say, Navi? Look, look, Link. You can see down below the spider in the back. All right. Well, there's a giant web here. I don't think this is supposed to be here. I see a lot of enemies. Uh, you're actually supposed to either wait. Could you climb these vines? Oh, I guess you could. I usually just climb this ladder. I never even saw these vines before, like over to the other side, because I literally always go up here. Uh, but there is some aspects to this dungeon of sorts that you can't exactly complete it fully, because you're going to have to come back here for just a couple of specific things. But whatever is in the stretch box, we're going to go get it because it's here right now. We're actually supposed to go upwards on this. What we're supposed to do as of uh, this dungeon, and look, we got ourselves a dungeon map that's going to point out where, how many levels there are and uh, what rooms we've been in. It'll say that uh, the room that you're currently in will be flashing and rooms that you already visited will be blue and rooms that you haven't visited will just be just blank. It'll just be black, so pretty much. Um, or as of right now, okay. And what it means by flashing, if you look at the map right here, that's what it means. So rooms that we haven't visited will be outlined, and not black. I don't know why I said black. I I, I feel like it, it's, a, it's a different Legend of Zelda game where it would be black. But either way, the whole purpose of this, you have to break that web. That's why when you would jump off there, it would be barely able to just rip. But we're supposed to go on higher ground. We could go up here and then try to break that web. But as of right now, these spiders are out of the way. These skull tulas, that's what they're called. Or wall tulas. <sighs> Shut up, Navi. You can open a door by standing in front of it and pressing that. Pay attention to what the action icon says. That's the blue icon at the top of the screen. Thanks, I kind of know how to open the door despite my houses or other houses not having them. I think I know, Navi. I, well, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe for a fact that I don't know. But this Deku, you're supposed to deflect it with your shield by pressing R. Oh, freaky me, master! If if I give you a clue, will you let me go? When you jump off a high cliff, if you hold that for you will roll on the ground. When you land, it won't get hurt from the fall. I can guarantee it will work though if the cliff is really, really high. <laughs> We'll try it if you're feeling bored. <laughs> Next time, I'm gonna be sure to uh, show off what the Navi feature is when you're looking at an enemy. 
I'll be sure to do that. But this right here, I suggest you don't jump on this. It'll be easier if you just don't decide to do that because it'll take more time if you just go all the way around. Maybe it just doesn't matter. Actually, no, I, I, I'll i just do it. See, you jump on here and it basically will just fall. So, the reason I just decided not to do that is because right here, we gotta get ourselves another treasure chest and inside of this one is a very slingshot. Now we could use some another item for our yellow buttons and uh, yeah to take it out and hold it as you hold it you can aim with the thing and unleash it for a Deku Seed. Now uh, it, Deku Seeds were for sale but I don't think we were able to technically buy it. I, I never bought it in the first place. I always just because it gave you some for free as you can see right here it'll be pointless to buy it anyway but yeah as you can see Set it to like yellow left and it'll be there or you can set it to yellow right. It really doesn't matter. You can set it whatever you want. I'm going to set this down though and that would be it. There's some stuff up here. I want to go up here. I don't know if there's anything relatable or anything like that. Kind of, oh, it's just a treasure box. Okay. Might as well go get them. That's kind of part of 100%ing uh, things. It's just recovery heart. Okay. I could swear there was something more to it. All right. So, the reason I decided to not do that is because up here, Navi will point at a ladder, and the ladder is not in the right place. So, what you're supposed to do, and the way you aim, whatever's in the middle, you could just shoot. Or, not in the middle, but like. I would say line up with the tip of the thumb, right? Yeah, tip of the thumb, that, that should work. And, uh, yeah, that would bring down the ladder, and we could go climb back out. The whole purpose of this was just to get the slingshot. And now that we got the slingshot, we could go shoot down those wall tulas. And that'll be good. Alright, and like I said, I'm gonna organize this series so you guys will have like some uh, clear definition of what all these episodes is about. And I like shooting these pretty fast. I usually like to shoot this. You could only shoot these two quickly, that would be good. Look at this wall! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Look at this wall. The vine's growing on it give it a rough surface. Maybe you could climb it, Link. No way. You could climb on vines. Yeah, you probably, yeah. And we got ourselves Deku Seeds. These are what they look like. These are small heart seeds that you can use as bullets for your slingshot. Alright, let's get this rupee. Is there anything that else fell? I don't know. Alright, let's go climb on this vines right here. But yeah, Navi would just cut you off in this first temple because maybe, I guess, not first temple, that's gotta be a habit I need to break, but, uh, it, it really, she, she just cuts you off. I think it's because maybe in a kid's per perspective when they're playing this game, they would, uh, maybe, I don't know, they would not press yellow up, I guess, and they would just continue onward. Maybe that's the reason why they cut you off. That's, I'm just trying to come up with a reason. I really can't figure anything else out. But uh, the reason I said uh, that you could just jump off and break the web, uh, but instead I'm going in here first, is because there's some stuff I want to get along the way. Like this right here! Oh god! Alright. Well, this thing right here is called a Gold Skotula. These are collectible items that you will need. Well, not, not really this Gold Skotula, but... After you kill it, it'll give you a token. This is going to be throughout the game. There is 100 tokens in total, and I'm going to try to get them all. You destroyed a gold token, or gold skull tula. You got a token proving that you destroyed it. All right, be sure to collect that token if you want some goodness. This is definitely a Skulltula. I don't know what the heck is doing this. I'm just gonna kill you. Anyway, we're gonna go get this thing and get ourselves another heart. I don't know why they keep giving hearts. Maybe they just assume I suck or something. I don't know. We're gonna go back up here. I mean, we could have just climbed the crop. Okay. If you kill it that way while it's attacking you, you'll have a access to a Deku Nut. You got ourselves a Deku Nut. Uh, for Deku Seeds, I know I know that might be hilarious to you guys, you know, because there's just so many innuendos when it comes to Deku Nuts and sticks and stuff like that, but uh, Deku Seeds are just meant for the Fairy Slingshot. That's just ammo. Deku Nuts are something else. You'll put them in there, and that'll be fine. We got ourselves a full selection of stuff here for us. So, we're free to leave already, but like I said, I just want to go complete everything. I'm just going to go over here. And uh, get myself some goodness by getting this treasure box. And behind this treasure box, 
Hey, heels. A compass. All right. So, like I said about the map, it'll show you where you have been and where you haven't been. But for the compass, you'll see where you are already. The yellow icon uh, with the pointing, like the triangle, pretty much. Whatever the triangle's pointing is is pretty much where I'm facing at. And the red triangle means where I've uh, the last exit I visited or entrance rather either one will be fine so that's definitely helpful just so they you know when there's like multiple doors you don't go back to the same one because you can see that red triangle and not go back so right quick um, unlit torch always light it up always light it up it's very it's always a key part of Legend of Zelda when there's an unlit torch light it up you know just try to find a already lit torch and you should be fine now then the thing that I was talking about and we were waiting for, the way you would kill this Skulltula is every time, like, this is kind of disturbing to know, but the head of the spider is actually in the bottom. But that's how you kill it. it I, for some reason, I never got that. They turned around for literally no reason, and that's just how it's always been. But right here, what you're supposed to do is jump off. And I always like to slash this thing, but that's just how I always did it. But yeah, now we're in the bottom depths of this place. It's not over yet, though. And, uh, yeah. So, depending on how you slash, you'll get yourself a Deku Stick. Um, there's actually another Gold Skull Tula up here. Let me just go get that. And I'm just gonna go shoot the Gold Skull Tula. Get ourselves some more. Whoa, I kinda look like a glitch. But we're gonna get another Gold Token. Gold Skull Tula Token. All right, so now we could go over here, or maybe not. Hang on, let me go over here so I could. Where's the? Okay, there's the ground. I was wondering. There's another gold skull tool right here, and I'm just gonna go slash you. I mean, I could have just shot him, but I felt. I don't know. I feel lazy. At the same time, I felt active doing that. It makes no sense, I know. But we got ourselves another gold skull tool token for that. That is our, what, our third one or something? I don't know. Uh, go step on the switch and that will light the torch. Usually these gold uh, torches are like ones that you can't light up, but they will be lit in for other reasons like killing enemies or lighting or, or stepping on a switch or something. But we got ourselves another recovery heart. So what are you supposed to do? We're supposed to go over there, but there's no way of getting there at the moment. Uh, and there's like a door behind that. So what you're supposed to do, get your stick out, light this thing up, oh god, and uh, be sure to step on the shallow water where there's like floor and you can just run across the water without a problem. Oh god, did I run out of stick? I don't know. Sometimes when the sticks, they will burn out, but if you slash right before they get put out, then you can save that stick. I don't know if I saved it or not. Anyway, let's go look at this enemy. Take the scrub, it will hide on the grass if you get close to it. Bounce the nuts and spits back at it. Okay, Navi, I think you're- Ah! I think you're kind of, uh, getting out of control, you know? Anyway, let's go catch up with this thing. La just like last time, it gives you some advice. What about this one? Please forgive me, master. I'll never do it again. If you spare me, I'll teach you something cool. You will never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is two, three, one. 23 is number one! Do you think I'm a traitor? Yeah, kind of. Anyway, <laughs> uh, there's a locked door and we already defeated the enemy. So what you do, you look at that eyeball and you say, Hi, eyeball, I want to kill you. Or by kill you, I mean blind you. And uh, yeah, that's that's uh, another obvious thing, but you're going to see that. Sometimes they're hidden well. Other times, uh, you know, you'll... you'll uh, oh, come on, Navi. Oh my gosh. Just shut up. Alright, so what she was trying to insinuate is that there's some stuff right here. There's a switch in the bottom. You can only die for so long. You can only die for a total of three seconds. And this will lower the water so we could go under the, uh, what is this called? Like spike? S just, just the spikes? The, 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 the thing. I don't know. I, I like to just crawl just to be sure, but we could go under that before we couldn't, and now we could go across right here. We have to kill this thing because it's going to be out of the way. I like to just, you know, be safe and just shoot this rather than slash it because sometimes it acts weird. 
Sometimes it acts weird. Anyway, let's go push this block. What the heck, Navi? Come on. Just uh, stop. Sh shut up. Stand next to this block and grab hold on. Uh, hold of it while pressing that. While holding that, you can press or pull it. If you stand next to the block and press that while pressing that towards the block, you can climb onto it. Pay attention to what the action icon says. Oh, my gosh. Also, another thing, Navi is known as, it's short for Navigator, that's why it's called Navi. Uh, just like in Majora's Mask, there's Tattle and Tail, um, that would just tell you things. And yeah, that says how you would climb. You would have to go a little bit forward for it to change from grab to climb, and that would be helpful for you. Okay, so there's uh, this thing right here, I never actually looked at it. Take it, Baba, hit it when it lunges at you, and it will stand upright. Alright, let's go cut it quickly then. That gave me a deck of nut. You lied to me! You <laughs> saw her back up for a while. So this is what I was talking about. Just so I could save sticks, because I don't know if I saved it or not. Unlit torches, we already know that. And to save this, boom. We got ourselves five sticks though. Instead of just the four, because they will burn out. You don't want that to happen. Anyway, let's go continue onward! And this is some more goodness and stuff right here. We're gonna go kill you. And this room, oh god! There we go. <laughs> I just want to go into an angle. Uh, if you look up here, there's actually eggs. You can shoot these eggs to, you know, break them and stuff. Or you could just wait till... I can't break it? What the heck? I thought I could. These aren't breaking! What the heck? Alright, well, we're gonna go run across them, and, uh, there's, they're actually able to... Oh, God! Oh, my gosh! Come on, Larva! Look out when it gets ready to pass! Alright, when they turn red, you're able to attack it, and that's how you know it attacks you. So, uh, I don't know why... So, walking under and clearly does something to it. I don't know why it's not, like doing it correctly so yeah as you can see it does something I guess you don't have to attack it while red but that's how you know when it attacks but yeah that's a little preview of what's to come um so like I was trying to say as well there's another thing I believe it is is it this spot I think it was this spot there's there's a couple areas where we can't do anything about yet and it's this area right here. There's like this weird wall and there's no way to break it, go past it, or anything as of right now. So, this is a place that we have to come back for later. As for the other places, we could go continue onward to progress through. There's nothing else for us here. We could just, we could have just run through all in general, but those enemies are re really rare. There's only found in this area. So, specifically this area alone. And, well, technically another area as well, but you will see in a little bit. Other than that, we're gonna go right here, and amongst this, we are gonna go push this block over, just in case we want to do a quick exit or something. You know, games always have quick exits, just in case you have to go back for whatever reason. If you want to buy more things, or just for whatever reason you really feel like, really. Or for a feature reference, you know, just because we go right here, we can go straight to what we need to. Even though, uh, really thinking about it, I'm not going to be able to. Well, I, actually, no, I'll take that back. You, you could be able to. Anyway, I don't know why I'm killing all these. And I don't know why this thing out of everything is just so high up. They just, they just did that on purpose, but... What you're supposed to do, since those torches are high up, go over here to the same torch, get yourself a stick, and go right here. And uh, since there's no cliff to jump off of, you have to just hit this thing. And there we go. We got ourselves a access to some more stuff. And I'm going to go get myself some hearts. I don't know how I got injured so badly. I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't survive in a master, uh, what is that called? Just the master run or whatever? I forget at the moment. But this is the brothers that the Deku Scrub was talking about. These are what De Deku Scrubs look like. And uh, they said they just they just turn blue whenever you hit them. So if you hit them out of order, they'll just reset. And it just wouldn't count. So there's this one more. So I, I selected them and you heard that little uh -uh sound or whatever it was. 
Uh, that means I did it wrong. So I hit the two and the one and the three. That's the order of the Deku Scrubs right now. So if I hit it in the correct order, that'll be two, three, and then the number one, I would hit it in the correct order. Which makes no sense to me because I'm all like, are you a copy or something? Or, or what the heck? And he just went back. Alright, cool. Do I have to kill... Okay, no, I have to just kill him again. Alright. I don't get it. I really don't. Like, are you immune to hits? Or is this magic? Or what the heck? How did you know our secret? How irritating! It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. In order to administrate the Coupe de Grace to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Oh, Queenie. Sorry about that. I don't think she's gonna forgive you. Whoever this Queen Goma is. But that will be it for this episode. So if you like this episode, don't forget to press that like button. If you really like this episode, please consider subscribing. If you haven't considered subscribing yet, please watch another one of my videos. I play the video games, and if you like video games, you might like my stuff. With that being said, in the next episode, you see that skull in the, in the bottom right? That means there's a boss up ahead. So if you're looking forward to that, join the White Tigers and Dragons, and you have been scarred by the night. I'm out! Be sure to collect that token if you want some goodness. This is definitely a Skulltula. I don't know what the heck is doing though. I'm just gonna kill you.